The O'Reilly Factor, the number one cable news show for 15 years and counting. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Bill O'Reilly in the Miller Time segment tonight. For the past few weeks, there have been a number of attacks by wild animals on Americans. According to authorities, a mother hearing the screams of her two sons playing near these riverside condos ran outside to find a mountain lion on top of her five-year-old. She came in and engaged and fought. Suffering from injuries to his face, head, and neck, the child's father rushed him to the hospital. Here at the scene, wildlife officials captured and killed two mountain lions just yards from where one attacked the young boy. And that was in Aspen, Colorado. Also in New Mexico, a bear attacked a woman running a marathon. And in Tennessee, another bear attacked a hiker sleeping in his tent. Now, some on the far left are saying that global warming may be stirring up these animals. Joining us from Santa Barbara, the sage of Southern California, Dennis Miller. So global warming, Miller, do you think it's involved? Well, thanks for teeing up the humor ball for me, Billy, with the uh, mountain lion on top of the kid. Um, <laughs> I, I, I won't do a clip here. I will say this. Why not? I've heard extreme cold blamed on global warming. So it seems to be a deus ex machina over there where they co-opt it for whatever they need. I would say this, Bill. I think the world has always been a chillingly random place. And in many instances, like, you know, look throughout history, the Huns, all of that. It's like a slaughterhouse. I think what's happened now is that we're just privy to it. We've got 24-7 news cycles. We've got everybody with a phone and a camera and these horrific things that happen. And thank God the kids say, I mean, all three of those stories, I believe the people are safe. I just think we hear about all this now where we actually didn't. If you're asking me, do I blame these animals coming out on global warming? I, I don't. There's been instances throughout this in history. You've heard about that, the Savo Lions, 1898. They were building the Kenya slash Uganda railroad line. They killed 135 people, it's estimated. I think periodically these, there are these anomalous things in nature where things go askew. I don't think that the global warming causes it. I don't even know. To me, it's hot once in a while. You know why, Billy? And this is my theory. I'm not trying to anger people. I think it's hot out there because the sun is hot. And it's always been hot. And it was hot when I was a little kid. And, you know, when I was a little kid, I was even further away from it. It's hot. So um, the Miller theory of global warming is it's the, the sun's sun. fault. And you know what I also notice, and this is a bit of an advanced theory, it seems to me it's really hot for uh, three months every year. And then <laughs> it gets a little less hot. I'm just noticing this, don't bet the house on it. Then it gets cold, and then unbelievably, it seems to me it swings around to hot again. I, I know I'm out on a limb, but that's what I see. I can't argue with any of that, Miller, so I mean, yeah, I'm not nice. going to. Now, I've recently bought a... Uh, um, one of these bouncy houses in uh, Santa Barbara. It's the only thing that I could afford there where you live. Um, yeah. I got, it was expensive, like a, a million and a half, just for a bouncy house and to bounce around yeah. uh, your neighborhood. Uh, and now I'm really worried. Roll the tape. Oh my God, the bounce house. Is everybody accounted for? Let's go hit the power line. Wow. Now, there wasn't anybody in the bouncy house, but there could have been. There could have been Miller. Billy, I'm in California. I heard Governor Brown say today that he's going to fight the drug epidemic with bouncy crack houses. So we don't really fight the crack. It's just when somebody smoking crack falls over, they bounce right back up and they're right back on the pipe. I look at that thing and I see three things, Billy. And the one thing is I see somebody blaming the coal industry because the coal industry powers those electric towers. And if those damn electric towers weren't in the way, they would have had a better flight than that. And 
I also hear I see I hear capricious lawsuits where Judy Garland and Toto come in and they sue the state of California for putting those towers up. You know the one thing I don't hear in this culture as we live, some guy was paid to moor that thing to the ground, and he didn't moor it to the ground. And the one thing you don't hear is that he'll be fired because he didn't moor it to the ground. Yeah. Because if he gets fired, he'll sue for unlawful dismissal. The country is starting to fray around the edges, Billy. It's not a tapestry anymore. It's a pretty soiled doily, and I think stuff like that is evidence of it. There we go, Dennis Miller, everybody, and we will have Martha McCallum on deck. Apparently, some significant money from the Trump campaign going to some very strange places. That report after these messages.